Hi, my name is Tom Casey, and I wanted to do a quick short video today on your limousine company. Basically, the purpose of this video is just to compare you with one of your competitors in terms of where you guys fall out in search results when people are searching online for limo service in Louisville. And I'm only going to cover two factors today because I want to keep this video short, but there are a couple things I want to point out. But before I jump into that, I want to show you how many people are searching online for limo service. This is a tool from Google. It actually goes out and does a monthly count of search terms. And what we're looking at here is for the last 12 months from February on backwards, how many people are actually searching for limo service in Louisville. Now this is the average and it rounds it up to the nearest 10. So March was like 170, 590, 590 in May, really high, down to 480, down to 170, 140, back up to 390, 480 again. So it's averaging well over 300, 390, and 480 in February, okay, of this year. That's a lot of people searching for limo service. So I thought this would be a good exercise. So what I did is I went over here to Google, did a search for limo service in Louisville. This is page one, right here. Okay, let's see where I find you. You are over here. You are all around limo and tours, and you are on page two, okay? So, again, I just want to cover two factors with you. These are two factors that search engines consider when they're doing rankings. They obviously consider more than two, but again, to keep this thing short and reasonable, we're just going to look at these two today. And what I'm going to do is I want to compare you to somebody on this page using those factors. I want to see if there's any differences between you and someone over here, and if there are differences, if there's anything that can be done about it, to help you out and move you up in search rankings. Okay, so we're going to use R&R &R Limousine for comparison. The first factor that we're going to discuss today is citations. Now, a citation is a listing for your business on a directory site. It's a name, address, phone number listing. And I'm going to give, I'm going to give you an example. This website right here goes out and finds directory sites. And here's one called Manta. So if all around limo and tours had a listing on Manta, name, address, phone number listing, that's considered one citation. Search engines like citations. The more, the better. They feel it makes you more legitimate as a business. Therefore, they want to rank you higher than someone who has fewer citations than you do. Okay? At the top of this page, we actually do a citation count. And I put your business in here, and it's telling me you have seven citations. R&R, who we're comparing ourselves to, has 68. So there's a bit of a difference there. But the good news is you can quickly and easily get added to these directory sites. So this number seven, we can bump that up well into 60, 70, 80 <laughs> even, if we had to in short order. And that would definitely give you a nice positive impact in terms of where you show up in search results. You definitely would move up, okay? That's just with citations. The second and last factor I wanna to discuss today are backlinks. Now backlinks are important. A backlink is a link from one website to your website. It's basically, let me get, um, give you an example. If there was a limo, I mean, a, let's call it a LouisvilleLimoSupplies.com website, and on their website they had a link to all around LimoAndTours.com, that's considered one backlink. Okay? Search engines like backlinks even more than they like citations. Again, for similar reasons, they feel it makes you more legitimate as a business. Therefore, they want to rank you higher than someone who has fewer backlinks than you. Now this website I'm on actually does a backlink count for your site. And the number we want to look at is unique active backlinks. It's saying you have one unique active backlink. Let's go look at R&R. &R. Okay, so they have 68. Well, quite a bit more, but there's good news. We can add backlinks to your site. And we probably could get away with just adding 10 initially. What we want to do is get this score up. The link influence score is an indicator of how strong the backlinks are that are coming into your site. It's based on how strong the website is that's linking to you. The stronger this website, the better the website, the higher that score is going to be. It should be closer to the high 20, low 30s like r and R's is. So if we just did like 10 good quality links from good quality sites and get this score up to like 30%, that would be really big for you. <laughs> definitely would see a nice positive boost in search rankings. You definitely would move up quite a bit. All right? So that's just, we just talked about citations and backlinks today only. But you've learned that, yeah, there are differences between you and someone on the other page of Google. You also learn 
that there are steps we can take to reduce and eliminate those differences. And when we do, with just these two factors alone, give you a nice big boost in search rankings, all right? So uh, this is what I do for a living, but I don't charge for consulting. So if you want more information about what I talked about today, that's free. If you want me to cover other factors I cover with my other customers regarding rankings, that's also free. If you want me to review your website, that's also free as well. There is no cost, there's no obligation, all right? So I hope you found this was helpful. Go ahead and um, feel free to give me a call if you want to chat or shoot me an email and we can go from there. Thanks a lot. Bye now.